the NASCAR beat. Yes, indeed, guys, we're coming close here. You know, we had Brad Keselowski winning the last race. He finishes third. The race before that, we have Kurt Busch finishing in the top five. He finishes sixth, but close does not count. So let's pick a couple of winners here for Sunday's race. Yes, indeed, we're at the Homestead Miami Speedway, and we're wearing the shirt by design, representing the great region of Miami, also representing a great era in basketball history. The Miami Heat, big three, that number six. It's, it's for LeBron James. But we're not talking hoops. We're talking cars, baby. It is the Dixie Vodka 400. And check this out. This is a sponsor that I can get behind here, the Dixie Vodka 400. Not much of a vodka drinker anymore, but, you know, if you choose to have a cocktail during the day, go with something traditional. Vodka and OJ, nice dose of vitamin C there. If you're on the second or third day of a bender, nothing beats a vodka and Red Bull. I've never had Dixie vodka before. Maybe we'll give that a try Sunday during the race. So let's get right into this thing, and we're going to start like we always do by looking at the top of the odds board. These odds courtesy of Bovada. So favorite to win the race here on Sunday, we have Kevin Harvick coming in at plus 450. He's followed by Martin Truex Jr. A little bit of momentum going for Truex Jr. Coming in at plus 450. He is followed by Kyle Busch, plus 500. Chase Elliott. Plus 750 and Joey Legano plus 800. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pick two winners. Uh, I'm going to go with the sleeper pick as well. And then I'm going to go with the driver who I will be fading on Sunday's race here at Miami. So let's start things off with Kevin Harvick. He's a favorite for a reason here coming in at plus 450. I like him to have a great race here on Sunday. So Harvick, you might look at him and you might say, Joe... He's coming off his worst performance of the season. Yes, indeed, he's coming off a 15th place finish at Martinsville. So what happened last time Harvick was coming off his worst performance of the season? He had an 11th place at Bristol. He follows that up in Atlanta by winning the whole damn thing, a first place finish. So I like him to bounce back here as well. A uh, big reason why is because he has a fantastic history on this track at Miami. 12 top 10 finishes in his career. That ties him with Jeff Gordon for the all-time best. So the past couple of years, he had a fourth place finish last year, led for 41 laps. A third place finish in 2018, led for 58 laps. A fourth place finish in 2017. A third in 2016, a two in 2015, and he won the whole damn thing back here in 2014. So, Kevin Hervick, I like him to bounce back and have a good race here Sunday. Uh, another driver who I will be picking to win the whole damn thing, Kyle Busch, plus 500, and a bit of a similar theme here to Hervick, uh, the bounce back theme. So, Kyle Busch, a bit frustrating to bet on this year, isn't he? A bit all or nothing, coming off a 19th place finish at Martinsville, but he does tend to bounce back after a rough performance. Check this out. So, so far this season, he's followed up a 15th place finish with a second place finish, a 26th place finish with a second place finish, a 29th place finish with a fourth place finish. And I am betting on this pattern to continue on Sunday. And much like Harvick, he has a great history on this track. He won the whole damn thing in 2019. He has a four in 2018, a two in 2017, a six in 2016, and a W back in 2015. So Kyle Busch to bounce back. So two pretty chalky picks, two picks that are at the top of the odds board there. Uh, so how about a sleeper pick? And don't laugh here, guys. This guy, he's a sleeper for a reason. Matt Kenseth, at 60 to 1, I will be taking Kenseth to finish in the top five here for the simple reason that he's been great at, on, on this track at Miami over the course of his career. You take a look at his last nine races here, a top 10 finish in eight of those nine races. So a little sprinkle on Kenseth. Going to be a great payout there, top five. Uh, so two winners, a sleeper, now a driver who I will be fading here on Sunday's race. And what I mean by this, I won't be taking him to win a damn thing. I will be looking to bet against him in some head-to-heads as of Friday morning when I am recording this. There's not, there's no head-to-head -head odds available yet, but I will be looking for some spots to fade. Joey Lagano, who has the fifth best odds to win the race. And my reason is quite simple. So I preach consistency 
in these videos all the time. And Logano has been anything but consistent. He only has consecutive top 10 finishes once so far this season and just barely a 10 and a 4 at Atlanta and at Martinsville. So who knows what the issue is with Logano. I think maybe it might be the quick turnarounds, you know, a couple of Wednesday races sprinkled in. So maybe he's having some issues with the quick turnarounds and he is coming off a fourth place. So uh, I don't expect him to have a good race here. So I will be fading Logano. So there you have it. My takes for the Dixie Vodka 400 Homestead Miami Speedway. Let me know who you like and we will see you next time in my basement. Woo!